to drop it. Go ahead. Surprise, partner. Not a good idea. And when you come back, could you please get the model of the hospital off the buffet table? About the last thing we need is the press spilling punch all over the East Wing. Thank you. Well, that's telling them. I like the way you take charge. <laughs> well, I, I, somebody's got to do it. It's yeah. HB's dream on the line. And we're going to do them proud. I hope so. And I think it's great that Josh and Reva have this project to work on. Yeah. yeah how, how, how's that going? Josh and Reva? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, well, I just you know, have my doubts, that's all. I'm calling about an appointment for tomorrow. Reva Lewis. Yes, Dr. McCabe recommended a series of uh, radiation treatments. A few weeks? Well, you have my files there, right? Okay, then. I'll see you tomorrow. So who's that? Uh, my boyfriend. Oh, I hope you told him that we're back together. He's having a very hard time. Oh, well, I certainly can't blame him. <laughs> Did you eat some of my fries? Maybe. You can have it all. What, you're not hungry? Uh, uh actually, I'm just... There's going to be a lot of food at the reception, and I'm saving myself. I see. Well, suit yourself. Mmm! <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't face reporters with mustard on my tie. Well, you know, not to worry. You, you carry it. <laughs> Never mind. It's, it's very wifey of you. Yes, well, hopefully I'll get it right this time. I don't know what I would do without you, Reba. Well, hopefully you'll never have to find that out. All right, so it's a small island, so I think if we split up, we can cover all the hotels in, I don't know, a matter of hours. What if Donnie goes straight to the Spalding house? What would be the point of her getting a hotel? She's just going to stop off and whack somebody. She's not going to whack Alan Michael. She's not going to whack anyone else, either. She's just coming down here for answers, and she deserves that. Really? And if Alan Michael did have something to do with her father's death, you think she's just going to forgive him and forget? No, but I think there's middle ground between forgive and forget and pulling the trigger. Who said anything huh? about a gun? Hey, where's your service revolver? She took it. She took, she took it for protection. When were you going to tell us this? Well, what? What would you have done differently? Well, for starters, I would have told Alan Michael he should be wearing a bulletproof vest. What the hell was that for? It's just me saying hello. Well, let me guess, you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. No. I flew all the way out here just to see you. We have some unfinished business, my friend. I should have let her out of my sight. If something happens, man. Nothing's going to happen. <sighs> Nothing will happen. Okay, we'll, we'll find her before she hurts herself or anybody else for that matter. We found him, right? We thought that was impossible. Oh, that's Alan Michael. Hey, man, she's not going to whack Alan Michael. Stop. No, I'm not going to stop, stop until you both realize that if Alan Michael did bring down Ross Marler's plane, then we have no idea. We have no idea how dangerous he really is. You don't seem too happy to see me. No. What the hell is in that thing? I'm just surprised you're a long way from home. 
So are you, Andrew Mark Spencer. I took a little drive by the old Spalding vacation home, and when I saw that you weren't there, I decided to nose around a little. FYI, never ever try when you're trying to hide to use your initials, the real name. I just wanted to relax, be alone for a little while. Really? Since when does the future CEO of Spalding Enterprises have time to relax? Blowing our deal, Alan Michael. You here to talk shop? Yeah, I'm a little nervous about our momentum dropping. You know, I mean, we were just moments away from busting, you know, Harley on this whole Gus photo thing, and then you decide to slip away. You little rascal. I, uh, didn't bail out. I just... Was I too much for you? No. It wasn't you, Dinah. It was Marina. And the whole corporate roller coaster. I... I want it off. Oh, I understand. But our plan's still good. Good. I am very glad to hear that. Had trouble getting on that plane, though. I don't like flying so much, you know, now after especially what's happened to my father. Yeah, I always loved flying, but I guess it would be tough after just having lost somebody. I loved him more than anybody in the whole entire world. I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't really feel very safe right now. Now that he's gone, I mean, you know what I mean? I can only imagine. Hey, imagine this. Um, you know, after Daddy's plane went down, Mallet tracked down the mechanic that was working on the plane, and guess what happened? He shot Mallet. First my dad, and then Mallet. So you can understand why I really don't feel safe these days. I guess you can't be too careful these days. No. You guessed right. I can't believe you. I mean, you want to stop and get a snack on the way to an event that's bound to have a lot of food. Honey, I'm a growing boy. Yeah. Do that to my gut. That's not nice. You said that you wanted to wear a bathing suit on our little beach getaway. Well, yes, but I'm not going to be running around with a speedo with my mess showing. Hi, thank you. But you, got, you know, but you know what? You got to, you got to admit. I mean, with all those renovations that we're doing, we've got to be burning off a couple calories. Renovations? Right? We're painting our daughter's room. Painting's hard work, honey. It's very hard work. Sweetheart, you standing in a tin and telling me where I missed a spot—that does not burn calories. Well, you're a better painter. You're better. Cooker, yeah. you better better uh -huh. smile. You know what? Smile. You got pain on your face. Nice try, honey. Nice try. But you know, you got to admit, honey, that you know, it's just fun, isn't it? Just fun doing something together, like a normal couple, like it painting is. our daughter's bedroom. It is. Fun. It's great. It is. I mean, I just cannot wait to be a full-time parent again. For a little while, honey. Leah's only home for the summer. She might change her mind. She's not going to change her <laughs> mind. She loves school. I can dream, can I? Daddy's little girl yeah, is coming home. It takes home. one to know one. Yeah, I know. I admit it. I am Daddy's little girl, and I'm proud of it. Yeah. You know, there's something real special. You know, that connection between father and daughter. I just can't help but think what Philip is missing, and now Ross. I just... I can't even go there. Sweetheart, yeah. that's why we have to treasure every moment as a family. Because you never know when things could change. You're right. Again. That's right. <laughs> Josh and Reva are about as happy as well, any couple can wait, be. Wait, wait, wait. Um, that's always the way it is until the next time. There isn't going to be a next time. They belong together. Hey. They're solid. Why is it? I get the feeling you're trying to sell yourself. You spent time with Josh. You spent a lot of time with him when he was split up from Reva. And what does that have to do with anything? Hey, everybody, how we doing? Hello, nice to see you. Yes, yes, you, you, said. yes, you may. Let's, let's do a couple place. right now. Okay, in, in a little bit we'll, we'll talk, okay? But for right now, we'll do more pictures later. Why don't we head on over here to the food? Come with me. Come on, come on. <laughs> Help yourselves, folks. You know what? I'll be back in a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. I can't even believe that this is all coming together. You're really pulling no, this no, off. No, 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 not me. It's you, babe. Guys, you, guys, 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 you, guys, you, guys, you, you, you. Guys, yeah. where's Reva? Great. 
sweet. <laughs> Thanks. Hello. So who invited the Grim Reaper? Hey, everybody. Go ahead. Gather in. Yep. Step right up. Everybody. Yes, sir. Come on over, folks. Uh, first of all, on behalf of um, the Lewis family, uh, especially my father, Harlan Billy Lewis, I would like to thank you for being here today. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, imagine with me for just a minute. From a foreign land where you have fought for our country, wounded, broken, facing a future that is uncertain. And now imagine entering a state-of-the-art facility where you will learn not just to walk again, but to run to swim, to, uh, I don't know, kayak, to uh, drive a car, to prepare yourself for the life ahead of you. And now imagine doing all of that with your family living right there at the complex with you for as long as you need them to be there. This was my father's dream. He believed strongly that as a community we owe our veterans this and so much more, and I, I am with him 100% on that. The H.B. Lewis Center will fulfill not just my father's dream, but the dreams of countless men and women who have served this country and fought for our freedoms. I invite you, I encourage you to be a part of this dream. Thank you for being here today. Let me guess. No alcohol? You're gonna tell me that I'm throwing my life away by not taking care of myself? Any idea what time it is? My watch seemed to uh, have stopped. Time for you to tell me exactly what you're doing here. Oh, your husband invited me, and Dr. Grant thought I should uh, represent Cedars. Oh, lucky you. Do you think it'd be rude if I left, though? I, uh, I've got some research waiting for me back at the lab. Bad, huh? Well, one or two here or there probably uh, isn't deadly, but if you're asking if it makes your condition worse, uh, the answer is yes. What? <laughs> hey, that is not nice, stealing your patient's drinks. Why aren't you over there with your husband? I needed to um, put on some lipstick. It's hard to smile and pretend like nothing's wrong, isn't it? I'm fine. I've been through a lot in my life, and I always land on my feet. And what if your husband notices the bandage from your lumpectomy? It's covered. Literally. It's nice chatting with you. I have to go join my husband now. See you at radiation tomorrow. Oh, no. Hey, there Is you are. Over? Yes, it is. Where were you? Oh, it's a long and boring story. I... Am I in the doghouse? No, you're not <laughs> in the doghouse. In fact, come on up here and dance oh, with me a little oh. bit. I am so excited. I feel like I could fly, Reba. I mean, I think we're going to pull this thing off. I think tomorrow, at this time, we're going to have more money than we ever dreamed. In fact, I feel like there's somebody up there that's helping us out just a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. know who that somebody is. Mm. Harlan must be doing cartwheels. I am so happy for you. Thank you. Kind of makes you want to dance, doesn't oh. it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little sore. From what? I ran into that pantry door again, putting the groceries away. <laughs> ah. Your speech was great. I heard the end of it. Only thing it was missing was you. But <laughs> you can make it up to me later. Okay? Deal. I really am so happy. Me too. I'm happy for all of us. I mean, this is a family thing, and I'm so glad that the whole family is here to celebrate. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, you better finish that. We got to get to Josh's party. Honey. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you thinking about? Oh, uh, I'm still on father and daughters. Mm. Mm. Honey, I know you didn't think much of Philip, especially toward the end, but he was a spectacular father to Lizzie. I know this is going to sound harsh, but I think Lizzie's better off without him. Oh, right, yeah, she's better off with, uh, with Alan as, as stepdaddy slash grandfather. I mean, that's sick. Sick, right? I mean, this, is this town is getting scarier and scarier. Right, I don't know if it's that or if it's that you know all of the special well, people. Maybe that. Have you uh, been in touch with Blake? Have you spoken to her? Yes, um, actually yesterday. How's she doing? I mean, I, you know, I haven't... You know, touch base with her since Ross. Yeah, she mentioned that. Um, 
She's doing okay. You know, she's hanging in there. She's busy with the three kids and the mayoral race. I wish you rethink that. I really do. What? I I really think she could win. Honey, I love Blake, but I... The thought of her running Springfield? Come on, I think Jeffrey's the better candidate. Oh, please. You gotta be kidding me. I know, honey. I'm a man. We're born, we're wrong, and then we die. I'm wrong again. Listen, I invited her over with the kids when uh, Leah comes home. I told her we should have dinner. It's a good idea. I still can't believe Ross is gone. Thank you. It's such a tragedy. Those poor kids are losing out on on so many years of of being with a terrific dad. I mean, we're all losing out. I miss him so much. Well, thank God our daughter has her two parents. I mean, I think I took that for granted when I was younger. Well, honey, lucky you. I I mean it. I am very lucky. lucky. And that's what I want for her. I want her to have two very happy parents when she comes home. Well, I'm happy now. Good. And I think it's time to go to this party. Mm-hmm. Because a party is not a party until I get there. Oh, yeah. Right? right, honey. You know what? This is a fundraiser, so you brought your checkbook, right? Oops. I forgot. Honey, you are so cheap. No, honey, I'm thrifty. There's a uh... difference. You know, you shop, I save. Okay? You're, you win arguments. I'm, I'm going to go straight to the Spalding house. You guys go check out the hotels. Now, make sure you check out all the registers, okay? Because she might have registered under different names. All right, we've done this once or twice before. Yeah, I know. I just don't want you to miss her. I mean, you know, she might have registered under a different name. I don't have to tell us procedure. You gave me one of these. I'll take it. Okay, show it to all the We know the procedure. You might recognize her. Honey, please. I remember how desperate I was when I was looking for you. And you never complained, not even once, so whatever you need, okay? Okay. I'm not leaving this island until we find her, okay? Yeah. All right, thank you. Stay coconut! Jeez, what the hell? Ah! (laughs) See? This is your picture, souvenir of St. Gabriel. Mm. Only nine American dollars for the original, and your friends and family all want a copy. <laughs> well, no thanks. No. We'll see you around, okay? Don't worry. Okay, thanks. the next time we're together, it'll be four of us, okay? All right. Okay, six ninety nine. No, I, I, I'm, I'm good, man. I've, I've got the only photo I need. Thanks. St. Gabriel. Uh, I don't know if you can service here, but um, if you do, would you call me? Hey, hey, it's uh, it's me again. Just tell me where you are, okay? I miss you. Dino, hey, come on, would you call me? I'm worried about you, okay? Where are you? Would you tell me where you are? I feel like a damn stalker leaving all these messages. Dinah? Hey, Dinah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I thought you were somebody else. Um, uh, have you have you seen this woman, Dinah Marler? Are you sure? How long have you how, how long have you been here? All day. I clean for the owner. Mr. Spalding? Have you seen him or his son, Alan Michael? Have you seen any of the Spaldings? No, I've seen no one. Thank you. Remember? We're exclusive. You need me. Call me. I need you. Oh. I'm tired of walking. Hey, let's check in with Mallet. Why? If you found her, he'd tell us, right? Excuse Excuse me, me, sir. This person, have you seen her anywhere? No. It's just the same thing. If I was Dinah Marler, where would I be? Is Dinah Marler related to Ross Marler? Yes, uh, it's his daughter. Do you know him? And Mr. Marler keeps a suite here. <gasps> Does he still have a suite here? Who wants to know? I do. I'm Blake Marler, Ross's wife. Is that loaded? Yes. Don't worry. I mean, this thing isn't going to go off on its own unless I wanted to. Good. I take it Mallet's okay. Yeah. He's okay. 
I'm okay. Everybody's okay except my dad. It turns out that his plane was sabotaged. And crazily enough, I find out that you were hanging out with him before he died. A lot. You had a few meetings. Yeah, isn't that funny? I mean, you and I, we worked very closely together, and you failed to mention that you were meeting my dad in D.C., doing business with him, and very possibly the last person who met with him before he died. So who knows? Maybe I'm going to be the last person you get to meet with. Ricky Paul Golden, Inside the Light. Theater is amazing because it's like a train ride that can turn into a wreck or a glorious trip because once you start you can't stop but this medium might actually be my favorite because we are flying and we're going really fast and we don't have a lot of time to prep and so it's about relationships and chemistry so this kind of is like theater and i think i'm on a movie anyway every day i treat it like that see gus on wednesday may 17th inside the light Everybody said you were unstable. I said no. Dinah's changed. She cleaned up her act. This isn't about me. This is about my father. It was a tragedy. They happen. People die in small planes all the time. An engine fails. They run out of fuel. Or they're tampered with. Okay, let's say the plane was rigged to go down. What could I get out of that? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Nothing. How could killing Ross... Help me to take over Spalding. Maybe it would just expose me as the man who killed the most beloved man in Springfield. Maybe he had something on you. What? What What could he have on me? Everybody knows I want to take over Spalding and oust Harley, just like you, babe. Don't you call me, babe. Okay. I'll call you nothing, because that's what you'll be if you do this. You'll be nothing in Springfield. Finished. It's hated. Just like after you killed Hart. That's right, cutie boy. I killed a man and I got a gun pointing right at you. You don't want to use that on me. No, you're right. I don't want to shoot you. I want to go home. And I want to go back to my life. But the problem is you were the last person that saw my father alive. And then you vanish. You take off right before we're to take down Harley, and now they're talking sabotage. And it might not have been an accident at all, so you tell me what I was supposed to think! You're supposed to take it as what it is, a series of coincidences. Are they worth ruining your life over? Oh. Oh. No more dips. I'm just a little lightheaded. Okay. Too much champagne, huh? Maybe. They'll let me lean on you, right? Always, Reba. Always. So how does it feel to finally realize a dream? Well, we're not quite there yet, but so far we're pretty damn close. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Billy, they're what? faking wait, 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 it. They wait, look wait, miserable. Wait. No, I just don't think this record story is just going to last, that's all. And why is that? Do you, do you know something that I don't know? Probably. I used to be married to her. And maybe you'd like to again? Well, there's a lot of things I might like, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get it, not does it? My God, Billy, you you got to let that go. Because they're about a million miles from ever being apart again. You're fooling yourself, really, if you think that they're not going to make oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Did it ever occur to you that maybe you're the one in a rut? I think you're being a little harsh. You think that's harsh? Mm-hmm. You mess with my sister's happiness, and I will show you harsh. Hey, you guys. Sorry we're late. Hey, hey how guys. are you? Welcome. Thank Good you. To see you. Hi. Congratulations. Hi. Everything looks like it's going really great. Oh, yeah. yeah, thanks. That's a nice color on you. What are you talking about? Oh, honey, you uh, have paint on your yep. face. Oh. <laughs> we're getting Leah's room ready, and Rick insisted on, on painting it that color. <laughs> Every girl likes pink, honey. You know I know, that. but she's not little. She's 14. She's 
14 is, is, is midnight blue, bright purple, pitch and black. Pink. No, honey, you know, I'll let you guys fight it out All when right. she gets home from school. Right now, I have to concentrate on packing. Where are you going? Well, my husband is taking me on romantic island vacation. Romantic, honey. Ellen and Beth are renewing their vows. Please, the only thing romantic about that trip is the amount of champagne we have to drink to get through it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be back. Okay. I know that Riva has helped you a lot lately, and it's easy to mistake that kind of uh, caring could for we something. We talk about something else. No, Billy. I think you need to wait, be wait, clear oh, about. Shh. Hey, hey, hey. Did you? Did you tell her yet? Tell, tell her what? about. <laughs> you guys <laughs> scare me about about Cross Creek. <laughs> about how I'm going to surprise Reva. I'm going to pick up the whole cabin, move it right here to Springfield. No, I Stop didn't. it. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Roman. <laughs> you know, I didn't think you could top yourself bringing Reva to Cross Creek, but now you're going to bring Cross Creek shh, to Reva. Shh, shh. Yeah, well, that's the plan, see? I mean, I figure it's always been a very important thing in our lives, and why not have that in our lives every single day? So I'm going to give it to her as sort of a, a gift kind of thing. Well, you are just full of surprises. Well, I think it's uh, my turn. Reva's made a career out of surprising me, right? <clears throat> My husband, Ross, won't be returning to this hotel. He died in a plane accident. Uh, I guess you didn't hear about it. And now his daughter's missing. We're kind of worried about her safety. I can't lose them both. I, I, I can't. I'm very sorry to hear about Mr. Marler. He spoke often of his family. I, I thought you had red hair. She died at... Mm. Um, so anyway, uh, if we could get into the room... Diana may have been there. No one's been in that room. Well, we'd still like to collect his things, if that's okay with you. You're a police officer? Yes. Well, it's the mayor's wife. She doesn't travel without a police escort. Ah, I'm sorry. I thought... Uh, uh, please, Thank you. follow me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Blondie. I see it. Hey, Harley, it's me. Um, listen, I'm, um, I'm batting zero here. I've been to the Spalding house. No one's been there, including Alan Michael. So, um, we gotta, we gotta find Donna soon, because I, I, we gotta find her. Call me. Call me. Come on, man, what's your problem? I don't want a damn, I don't want a damn photo. Okay, my timing was bad. All right, I went out of town and didn't tell you, but there's no reason to... Look, put down the gun. We can forget about this. Back up. Get up the stairs. Don't, don't turn around. What do you get up? Move! I'm going to talk to you about coincidences. What a coincidence it was that she vanished when my father died. What a coincidence it was that I found you here under a registered name, an entirely different name. And what a coincidence it is that I have got a gun pointed right at you. You're standing on the edge, and what a coincidence it's going to be when you go over at 60, 70 feet. Dinah, slow down. Let me tell you something. My father's life was worth a million of years, and I'm going to take what I can get. Look, if you pull that trigger, You'll be saying goodbye to everything you've accomplished. You you were CEO of Spalding Enterprises. You have the respect of everyone in town. And what, you've got a great guy. Mallet loves you, Dinah. What, what would this do to him? Do not pull the trigger. I'm not gonna shoot you. You might have an accident. My father had an accident. Do you know he, do you know what he was to me, huh? Do you know how much he grounded me? Do you know how proud I wanted to make him, but that's not gonna happen now? That's not gonna happen now because he's not gonna be able to see me turn my life around? He's not gonna see me walk down the aisle if I ever get married? He can't hold his grandchildren, and he can't even hold my children. So let me tell you something. I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that, and I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna make sure you understand it. Look, what you do matters. If you do this, think about Mallet, your mother, 
Harley, your brother Billy, what you do matters. Let me tell you something. You know how good it feels to be on top? People say that it's good. Yes, you've got so much potential. That's right, but you know what the problem is? With when you're on top and you take a little view, sometimes you go a little too far oh. and... Whoa! This one. This one. Where did, where did you take this one? Where? Where? Where'd you take that one? Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. I'll tell you, we've been so busy looking for Dinah. Sometimes I forget that Ross really is gone. God, I miss him. You know? I found something. What? Uh, the P.I. who, who died on the plane with Ross. Her business card, Nicole Landers. What do you expect to reach? I'm not sure. Let's see. Hi, I I'm a friend of uh, Ross Marlers. Ross employed Nicole as a... Right. Yeah. So, so you know all about that? I'm sorry, who am I speaking to? Kelsey, Nicole's partner. I'm really sorry for your loss. I'm sure that you want to find out uh, why that plane went down as much as I do. Did Nicole keep any uh, notes or files on this case? You sure nothing? Well, that's something. How soon can you get it to us? Josh is so hopeful right now. I am not going to let you get in the way of that. Um, it sounds like you're playing defense for them. You don't need to play do you need to play defense for him? whether i need to or not that's what i'm doing because i won't let anyone interfere with josh and reba not anyone oh hey just hold on a sec what do you think i am so somebody who's out of control and just trying to make life miserable for him i don't know are you no no the worst period of my life reba was there for me she was a raft i climbed up on it i was saved she saved me and when somebody does that for you it's Sometimes hard to let go. No, maybe that's something you can't understand. Maybe I can. Hey. Not you, but would you like to dance with me? I can't seem to track down my wife. Um, I, I think you should find her. <laughs> Once we build this hospital, we can open another one. It's like, like branding and like sort of a franchise you know there are millions of veterans out in this country who need yeah, a facility right. like this you, a you first know what? rate it's fabulous it sounds like a wonderful wonderful idea i'm gonna go tell josh about it okay thank you dinah dinah Okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Let go. Let go. Tell me what happened. What happened, honey? It's me, okay? Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey. Hey. Guess who's not going on that island vacation? What? What do you mean? You know that phone call I just got? The hospital. They scheduled me to work. No! Yes. No, they can't. Something do about that. being understaffed? Since when? This is just. Oh, well, I'll just, I'll just call and cancel the trip. You know, no, it's... no, no, no. Honey, you should go, okay? They're your friends. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, honey, you can look at it this way. At least you won't have to sit through those wedding vows. Oh, yeah, that's so much worse than doing dressings and ordering EKGs. I hate. That I, I have to keep this from Josh and from my family, but you're, you're not feeling I well. just he can't know. You have to help me get out of here. If you want to leave, leave. But I'm not gonna let you cast me in your own personal and I drama. I'm not going to spoil this day for him. Josh's dreams are my priority. I thought maybe for five minutes you could make me yours. You're a doctor. I'm sick. Help me. Hey. Uh, Hi. How are you? Hey. I feel like I've not seen you at all. What's going on? 
Well, actually, uh, Dr. McCabe was going over some uh, medical statistics that I thought would be great in the press oh. package for the project. So I thought I'd go over to Cedars and check it all out. If you've got everything handled. Uh, no, no. Hey, I got my dancing. I'm doing fine. I'll see you at home then, okay? Yeah. All right. You're my hero. Uh, you know that. My hero, darling. Are you ready, Mrs. Lewis? Yeah. Um, tell Cassie and Billy that I'll see him later. I, I love you. I love you, too. Thanks. Yeah. You need to let your husband know. Absolutely not. Baby, why did you have that gun? Did you find Alan Michael? Was he here when you got here? Trust me, okay? You gotta tell me everything. Come on. Come on. Once I say it, it's gonna change everything. What? 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 What's gonna change? Once I say it, you're never gonna want to see me again. You think this tip is real? Well, Kelsey was Nicole's life partner. I mean, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Yeah. You better hope she knows something. Because if she doesn't, what do we have? Not time. Oh, it's a picture. Surprises. Okay, we gotta get you back to the States. It's better to turn yourself in there. Turn myself in? Baby, you killed somebody. This has been Guiding Life.